not even have been born without a passionate striving for clear understanding. Perfections of means and confusion of goals seem, in my opinion, to characterize our age. Gedanken experiment, thought experiment, that's how Einstein called it. He used his imagination to try to understand what happens in extreme situations that real experiments couldn't reach. Like, for example, what happens if you would try to catch light? The speed of light is constant. I'm sure you've all heard this, but what does it really mean? If I go jogging with a friend and I fall behind, I can pick up pace and eventually I will catch up again. But not so with light. No matter how fast you run, light still moves away from you with the speed of light. How can this possibly be? That's what Einstein tried to understand. He discovered that if you try to catch up with light, but light still moves away from you with the speed of light, then time has to slow down. The light oscillates less often and its color is shifted to the red. The faster you move, the more it is shifted to the red. But still, you will never catch up with it. So you can't catch up with light that moves away from you. But what with light that comes at you? Can you catch it in a box? You have probably noticed that if you place a box in the sun, it will not pull light inside. Instead, the box will get warm. That's because the material that the box is made of likes to interact with the light and it converts it into light of other frequencies. But if you had a perfectly reflective material, could you catch light in the box? You could try to do this, but the average mirror like the one that you have in your bathroom only reflects about 90% of the light that falls onto it. It's made of glass covered with aluminum. After 20 or so reflections, the image gets faint and greenish. That's because the glass isn't entirely transparent and aluminum is not a perfect reflector. The most perfect mirror in existence is the one developed by the group of Serge Haroche. It's made of copper covered with superconducting niobium. When cooled to a temperature of less than one degree above absolute zero, it bounces back and forth photons in the infrared more than 10 billion times. The two mirrors are about three centimeters apart, and this means they catch light for about half of a second. But then it will escape. Nothing real is ever perfect, and there are no perfect mirrors. You cannot catch light in reality, but only in your imagination.